age is an independent risk factor for ischemic stroke. Older stroke patients often have longer hospitalization stays and are at increased risk of suffering recurrent strokes. Therefore, effective strategies for preventing recurrent stroke in older patients are critically important. Hi, my name is Xin Yi Huang. I am a PhD student in the School of Pharmacy at the Taipei Medical University in Taiwan. I have the privilege to share the results of our study on behalf of our team. Our article is titled as Effectiveness and Safety of Clopidogrel versus Aspirin in Elderly Patients with Ischemic Stroke. The study will be appearing in an issue of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Clopidogrel and aspirin are both guidelines recommended treatment for secondary stroke prevention. However, the effectiveness of clopidogrel and aspirin in preventing recurrent stroke among elderly patients is not well understood, especially in patients with age 80 years or over. My colleague and I conducted a population-based retrospective cohort study and found clopidogrel use following primary acute ischemic stroke in patients age 80 years or older to be more effective in reducing the risk of recurrent stroke. Moreover, we also found lower risk of intracranial hemorrhage and major bleeding events when comparing clopidogrel to aspirin use in this patient population. Results from this study support consideration of clopidogrel as a safe and effective alternative to aspirin for secondary stroke prevention in patients aged 80 years or older. In this retrospective cohort study, we conducted a new medication user and active comparator study designed by using the Health and Welfare Database in Taiwan. From the pharmacoepidemiology aspect, the new user active comparison study design mitigates a number of potential biases, including confounding by indication and healthy user bias. In terms of the health and welfare database in Taiwan, it includes more than 23 million enrollees from the National Health Insurance Program and represents 99% of the population in Taiwan. It contains a variety of healthcare services information including beneficiaries' demographic characteristics, insurance enrollment data, inpatient and outpatient diagnosis, prescriptions, and procedures. Figure 1 shows the design of our study. Patients at least 80 years old and who were admitted to a hospital for a primary acute ischemic stroke between 2009 and 2018 and discharged with clopidogrel or aspirin for secondary prevention were included. The hospitalization for primary acute ischemic stroke was defined as the index stroke admission, and the date of hospital discharge was considered as the index date. We assigned a pre-index period for each patient, which was 12 months prior to the index date. We divided patients into two study groups, which were clopidogrel users as the exposure group and aspirin users as the reference group. The inverse probability of treatment weighting was applied to balance covariates between the exposure and reference groups. We found that clopidogrel use compared to aspirin was associated with a lower risk of recurrent acute ischemic stroke, composite cardiovascular events, intracranial hemorrhage, and composite major bleeding events. However, there were no significant differences regarding the risk of acute myocardial infarction or major gastrointestinal bleeding between clopidogrel and aspirin users. From a clinical perspective, our study could help to inform the decision of antiplatelet use in elderly stroke patients. Elderly patients compared to younger patients were associated with a higher risk of bleeding during antithrombotic therapy. It is important to choose an adequate strategy for them to prevent recurrent strokes and also avoid bleedings. Future study is needed to discuss the use of clopidogrel in different populations, such as acute myocardial infarction patients with a prior history of acute ischemic stroke, or patients with acute minor strokes, or patients with transient ischemic attack. In conclusion, Ischemic stroke patients with age 80 years or older can be benefit from the use of clopidogrel for secondary stroke prevention. Results from our study indicated that clopidogrel is a reasonable alternative to aspirin for secondary stroke prevention in elderly patients. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us 
Our home page is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about Healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.